out of prison. Emma, I hope you can see by this letter that I'm not making you pissed off, okay? If there's anything that I wouldn't do to have you back right now, I guess Shawanda was upset because I told her <coughs> that couldn't I love her as much as I will as I did you, and that my love will never change how I feel about you. She told me if I wanted you that I should go back to you, and she broke up with me, but I'm going to make it official that me and her are no longer together. The only person that I want back is you, Emma. It's really hard to move on. But your letter got to me really hard that is striking like a lightning bolt, sticking more than one place. And it put me in a battle, a fetal position, curled up in a ball, crying and rocking back and forth. Emma, I know you're still pissed off at me, but... Would you please write me back again and let me know how you truly feel from the heart. I know the letter I got from you was an angry letter and you wanted to punch me in the throat. If I was on the streets, but would you please sit down and write me back and put your heart into it? Like I did in this letter, please. I know there, I know the real Emma that I fell in love with is in there somewhere. <laughs> Emma, that I, shoot, I'm repeating myself. Shoot. But you just don't want to get hurt, and please don't let your anger the better of you. And to prove to you that I'm really done with Shawanda, I will rip her picture and send it to you. That way you know that I'm not lying to you about it, about me ending it with her. Please write me back, Emma. Please write me back. P.S. Here is Shawanda's ripped up picture. Love always, your more surely, Cody Brian O'Haver. I really don't believe anything what he told me in that letter because right here he done that to me. He done the same thing what he done to her. He ripped my picture and sent it to Shawanda. He's doing the same thing. It's not cool. I'm having a hard time dealing with this and I don't know how to cope with it. Just hoping for better days and hopefully I can get through this shit because I don't know how to. I don't even know how to cope with this. I really don't know how to. It's very hard for me and knowing that I had to see that, I mean, that's kind of disrespectful towards her and her kid. I mean, he should have ripped up a picture with just Shawanda in it. It shouldn't have to have her kid in it, though, but... Everything that he said in this letter, I really don't believe him at all. I'm sorry if I was stuttering or I lost my places where I was reading it, so I'm sorry if I repeated myself. But yeah, I can't, I can't deal with that. It's not healthy on me in any way. And I don't know. I mean, he's just gonna have to realize that he truly messed up and. Hmm, let me see, I'm gonna think about it. Why is he trying to get a hold of me? Because he's in jail? Oh, because he wants somebody that was there for him before that he fucked over. And he wants that person there for him, and it's not gonna be there no more. I'm not gonna give him any sympathy. Because you know what? When he was free and out and about, he, like, I was needing him here. But when he's in jail, he wants me to be there, but it's not fair on me at the time when he was free and out and doing really good. He 
really didn't want to care. He didn't want to be there for me. It's not fair on me in the process during the long run. I mean, that picture kind of upsets me because that's kind of immature. In a way. So, I really don't know how to cope with this shit and I really wish I... I really wish I could have helped uh, how to cope with this because I really don't know how to. But all I'm just trying to say, though, is that that letter, if they do it once, you got to do it again. Anything he said in there, I really don't believe him. I don't believe a damn thing that comes out of his mouth. I don't believe him. Because he told me he was sort of... Oh, the, the, that, that's all that, that's all that tourist man could tell me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No. <laughs> Has to be more than sorry. He's not sorry for anything. He's not. So, that's just a little, that's just ridiculous. I mean, that is, I mean, I know, I know I hate Shimano with a passion, though, but this right here, it should only have Shimano, not her kid in it. That's a little bit disrespectful. <clears throat> That's Cody for you. He don't, he don't care. Once he's mad and he's really into it, it's like, ooh, his feelings are out, like, gone. And how the way it looks like in that letter, he's wanting somebody there desperately for him. Oh, I was there for him, but when all this shit went on, no, 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 no. I don't know. I I really wish I could have helped to know how to go put this, or if anybody's had experience with all this, like, can actually try to help me to, like, drop this and move on. I don't know if there's anybody out there that can help me to not worry about this shit, move on from it, but I, like, I seriously need help to cope with this, because I can't. It's very hard on me. I don't know, but I'm going to go and get off of here and try to go to bed, but this, I don't know. If he does it once, he's going to do it again. He's not going to be sorry for it, because he's never sorry for it. If he was sorry for it, he wouldn't keep lying, he wouldn't keep cheating on me, he wouldn't keep wanting out females want to fight me, you know? But, yeah. I don't know how to cope with this, but I'm going to go ahead and get off of here and just thought I would say my opinion, though. Yeah, I can understand that it frustrates Cody because she interfered with our relationship, though. But he let it happen. He let people come in between us too many times. I'm just thinking that this picture right here is a little bit disrespectful towards her and her kid. Should have never happened. He he should have he should have did the mature thing and just sent the picture back to her, not ripping it up and sent it to me like like he did with Shawanda. He literally ripped up my picture and sent it to her like he did right there. It's kind of a little bit disrespectful. A little disrespectful little bastard, but not sticking up for Shawanda. I'm just saying, though, like, that's just showing disrespect towards a woman. Yeah, I can understand. He may be a little bit frustrated, though. But he's the one that kept talking to her behind the back, knowing that we're together, trying to work shit out, knowing that he fucked Holly, you know. And he fucked other women. He went out of town, told other females, oh, I'm not with nobody just to get pussy. He was too worried about that instead of actually worried about me and, 
you know, actually treating me like a human being. He wasn't worried about it, though. He wasn't. He didn't care. But I'm not going to get off here and try to go to bed. I just, I really do need help. I, I honestly, I don't know. I really don't know how to cope with this. This stuff. Honestly, I don't know how to. I wish I knew how to, but I don't. But I'm going to go out and get off of here and try to go to bed. I need to get this shit off my mind. Because it ain't going to do nothing, but it's going to make me sick again. It's going to make me stressed out all over again. But I just thought I would say my opinion on how I felt about the letter in the picture. Even though I don't like her because she... She interfered with my love life two times in a row. Don't want that Cody let happen, but other than that, I just need help. I don't know how to cope with this, and I need help. I really don't know how to cope with this. And plus, seeing him getting arrested in front of my face was traumatizing enough. I'm going to get off here and try to go to bed. Have a good day. But the thing is, though, is that I threw everything away because, honestly, why should I hold something on for him knowing that he admitted everything in that letter that he didn't want to tell nobody else? So that proves to people that he knows he's in the wrong, but he would turn around and act like I was the bad person. So for that letter... Hopefully that will help me to get people to realize that he he wasn't going to tell nobody this stuff because he was wanting to make me out look like a bad person though, but he fucked up so he's going to have to learn how to leave me alone and swallow his pride. <laughs> you know?